Hello my friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Sarah Chatella McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today's project is this one. So all week long we are talking about card sets. I love card sets because you can make a bunch of cards relatively quickly and just have them on hand for when you need them. So yesterday in my VIP group, I made a bunch of thank you cards. So if you want to see that video, that live, go on over to my VIP group and join us. And that live is there for the watching. There is also a free PDF to go along with that video. Um, so today's card is this one. It's to a friend that makes me smile. So I have two here. I'm going to make one more in a different color, but we're going to be using the Forever Fern stamp set. This is a cling stamp set with 11 stamps in it, and it also has these beautiful coordinating dies. We're going to be using several of these as well. So we have here this die we'll be using, this little spree thing, and then I'm going to be stamping the background. So if you want to see how to make these cards, please keep watching. So the first thing we're going to do is stamp. So I have a piece of basic white here that measures five by three and three quarters. And I have four ink colors here. I have balmy blue, rich razzleberry, Cajun crazed and Cajun craze and crushed curry. Four of the stamps from the stamp set. This one, this one, we are going to be using this one, but I don't have that one out. So I'm, I don't know what we're doing with that. <laughs> and these little speckles. And our sentiment. Actually, I do know what we're doing with that. I've already die cut one piece of that. So we're not going to be stamping with the balmy blue one. But I had an extra. I thought I'd use it. So the first thing we're going to do is our background. So I'm going to remove the balmy blue. I don't need that one. Um, I'm going to open up my rich razzleberry, my crushed curry, and my Cajun craze. And we're going to do the same thing. All the cards do the same technique. It just, I switched up the colors a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the crushed curry and this big leaf fern piece. I'm just tap, tap, tapping in my ink pad, making sure I get that fully saturated. I'm going to turn it and go about there. Then I'm going to take my other fern and I'm going to go in, I think this one I'm going to go in in Cajun Craze ink that up really good not pushing too hard just tapping we're going to go off to the other side and don't worry about the stems or anything at the bottom we will be covering those up now i'm going to go in with rich razzleberry and my speckles and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to ink that up i'm going to go full strength there i'm not inking it up again i'm just going to go kind of out and around ink it up again maybe go down here and I'm just kind of randomly stamping this. Now you can turn this, you can do all kinds of things. I don't want to do too much rich razzleberry, so I am stamping off on my grid paper. Do one more one down here, maybe a little in there, one up there. That seems to be good. Now, like I said, I already stamped and die cut this. This is this stamp here. So go ahead and use your balmy blue to stamp that. And now we're going to be doing some die cutting. So let me put my stamps away. I'm going to clean them off, put away my inks, and show you the dies we'll be using. So I got a little bit ahead of myself. We're not done stamping. I didn't stamp the sentiment. So I have my crushed curry out and my sentiment. And I'm just going to stamp it on this scrap piece of the basic white. So now we're done stamping. And I do want to show you, I did pull in another die set so i have the all that dies and this is from the he's the man suite but i love these dies look at all of these labels so i'm going to be using this one to die cut our sentiment out and i have my mini cut and emboss machine we already used this die for our little balmy blue piece so i'm going to grab a piece of crushed curry and this is just a scrap piece i'm going to grab my platform number one my uh, cutting plate number two. I'm going to set down my cardstock. Now you could put a piece of adhesive sheet on there if you wanted to make this all sticky. I'm not going to. I'm just going to run it through like this and we're going to die cut. So now I have my die cut piece. Move this die out of the way. 
And then what I like to do is either take my fingernail or my paper piercer. There's also a spatula end on this take your pick tool that you can use for this. But I just like to pick up the piece like that. Then I have some little bits there that I like to get off, throw those away. And now we can die cut our sentiment. So the same sandwich for this, platform one, cutting plate two, cardstock, die, and it's a little crooked, so I'm gonna make sure I line that up pretty good. And then another cutting plate on top of that, and just run this through. So now we have a nice little label. So I'm gonna put my machine away, and then we can put my card or our card together. So now that we have all our pieces die cut, before we get too far, I want to add some of this frayed ribbon. So I'm just going to take the piece that we stamped. I'm going to add some seal all over it, all four sides, and then some in the middle. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to kind of eyeball that about how long I want it. I'm just going to cut some of that off. And then I'm going to flip this over. And I'm just going to cover those stems up and then just wrap that around. I might need to cut that piece there. There's a little piece hanging off the back. Oh, no, it'll stick. That works. Well, well let's cut it. Cut that off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put this down on our crushed curry, which is five and a quarter by four. And it kind of comes up a little bit. So what I like to do is just take a glue dot. You could take seal, you could take liquid glue, whatever you have. I'm just going to take a glue dot and I pull it off and I just kind of stick it under there just so that stays down a little bit. So now we can put our other pieces on. I don't want to put my glue dots away yet because I need to poke these little pieces out. But I'm going to secure this with a glue dot as well. A couple of them. There's a couple of big pieces there where the glue dots actually fit kind of perfectly, like there. So I'm just going to take a couple of these. Probably three should do it. Oh, but it's stuck to my finger. Oh, I'll put one up there too. And then I'm just going to kind of slide it under. And just kind of cover up that fern a little. I have a scrap piece there. And then we're going to take some dimensionals. If I can find them, there they are. Take I have many dimensionals. That'll work too. The standard size dimensionals work on this. I grabbed many ones though. Take two of those. Kind of slide that in over the Cajun Craze one. And then we'll take our sentiment and I'll keep using the mini dimensionals. I like to put about four on here just because that ribbon is there. We're going to do five actually because I have the mini ones. That ribbon is on there and I really want, I don't want my sentiment to fall off. I mail it or anything like that. So I want to make sure I have lots of, oops, dimensionals down. Hopefully that didn't stick to the card. Nope, it didn't. Okay. And then I'm just going to put that kind of where I put that glue dot under the ribbon just to make sure it doesn't come through. It kind of hides it. And then we can put this on our card base. I have a piece of thick basic white. And this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. I'm going to run my seal along this. You could also pop this up with dimensionals too. I'm using seal. You can use liquid glue, whatever kind of adhesive you like. And before we finish our card, I want to add some rhinestones because you got to have a bit of bling. So I'm going to use three of them. There are three sizes here. I'm going to use all three sizes. I'm just kind of randomly placing them. And that is our card. So now we have this lovely three card set. Tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. Do you like the Rich Razzleberry, the Crushed Curry, or the Balmy Blue? So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you do decide to place an order, please use the host code. You will get a pack of classic matte dots for free with any order using that host code. And I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.